I worked on the graduated layers technique, which is the shortest within the collection. It's done by creating internal shape and texture through point cutting. This is a strong look, but still can be adapted to suit many different textures. And although the length is short, the perimeter is kept soft, so the cut is always fatter into the face, retaining an element of femininity. Apply TG Multitasking Styling Cream as a cutting lotion. Take a horseshoe section at the high point of the recession area. To establish the guideline for the graduation, use a block graduation technique by working with parallel sections below the horseshoe. Comb the hair to its natural fall, elevate to 45 degrees, and point cut parallel to the parting around the head. Cross-check for balance before proceeding. Subdivide the sides from the back by taking slight diagonal forward sections at the back of the ears. Next, take a vertical section off the center parting at the back. Comb and elevate the hair 90 degrees to the head and point cut, decreasing in length from the horseshoe to the nape. Continue with slight diagonal forward sections towards the ear. Continuing with the same technique, comb and elevate the hair 90 degrees to the head and point cut, decreasing in length towards the hairline. Upon reaching the ear level, switch the hand position and repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Personalize the perimeter with freehand point cutting.
From the ear forward, continue with the same technique, but shift the finger position to work square to the head shape. This maintains length and creates softness within the side perimeter. Note the change of hand position and repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Next, take a center parting, then a radial division from ear to ear across the crown. Then take a central vertical section from the crown to the occipital bone. Comb and elevate the hair in 90 degrees and point cut square off the round of the head using the top of the graduation as the guide. Continue around the crown with pivoting radial sections, working consistently with the same technique until the ear level is reached. Note the change of hand and body position and repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Take a central vertical section from the crown to the forehead. Comb and elevate the hair 90 degrees to the top of the head, and using the guide from the crown, establish the layering guide by point cutting squarely to the head shape. Continue with slight diagonal back sections in front of the ear. Comb and elevate the hair 90 degrees and point cut square off the round of the head, connecting the graduation below with the layering guide on top. Over direct the last section back to maintain weight through the fringe area. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side.
Take two slightly curved sections from the top of the head to the recession areas to isolate the fringe. Comb the hair to its natural fall and point cut squarely across, above the eyebrows at a low elevation. Blow dry flat with a TG small paddle brush. Personalize the shape and release weight by parallel point cutting. Further detail the sides with surface cutting. Add definition with copyright texture putty, then shape with a TG small paddle brush. Apply copyright maximum hold hairspray to finish the look. Oh.